this point, um, final season at Florida State. What's uh, I guess what stood out to you about about this process and everything you've gone through? Uh, the whole process is just really been fun. Just from my freshman year, we had stepping on campus during the summer to now, it's just being able to just get all the experiences, all the training, all the people I've been, been able to meet, and just the coaching staff as well. Just being able to stay with this coaching staff throughout the whole time, like it's been consistent every year. It's never changed since my freshman year with uh, the coaching change. So that's the best thing. All the you, you were here before this coaching staff got here, obviously. Like, what were your general impressions when you first got here? And I guess was that a scary time when there was a new coaching staff? What, what was that like for you? Uh, I say it, it wasn't scary. It was just new, just adjusting to the new changes, new to a new uh, style, a new coaching style, just a new person that, you know, just trying to figure out who this guy was, who Coach Bell was, but. From his first meeting, his first impression was just great. Like he just showed us like how he's gonna be from day one is gonna be to what he is now. Like he's gonna be on us, he's gonna make us work hard and he's gonna keep us like just keep us others and try to keep us uh better. Like it's better every day. How big of an adjustment was that first practice under coach? Uh, the intensity was very it was very uh, very high. So, you know, just you know, just and also just learning uh, as you go, like the new playbooks, and just all that stuff, like everything, just getting adjusted to it. Just a new culture, really. Have you had a chance to kind of process all the ups and downs you've been through, and now you're here in Charlotte as reigning ACC champion? Uh, yeah, you know, just throughout life you have ups and downs. So, really, it's just, it's just the uh, moments. And just growing opportunities and just taking the good and the bad and just really going from there. You've been at FSU since your freshman year. You don't see that a lot through college football anymore at any school. Like, what made you stay, like, even through the coaching changes and all that? Uh, well, like, uh, with the coaching changes, it was just with one coaching, one coaching change. So after that, it was just been the same stuff ever since. So it's just been consistent throughout at Florida State. The people there, just my teammates, and just how we work, and just the family atmosphere as well. Just like we, when we say we family, we really mean it. It's not just not just some word we throw around. Like we really mean family. You've played at basically every position along this offensive line. Does it feel any different this year, just knowing what your role is going to be? Uh, you know, it's it's the same every year, same mindset every year. Just coming in, trying to work hard, and just trying to be the best I can be for the team and for myself, and just for the for the group, and just be now that it's my last year, just be a a, a huge leader, and just try to help bring along the young guys as well. You've had to battle injuries throughout your time here, like to be able to have a healthy off season, a couple down the road. What what has that meant for you in your development? Uh, that's it's, it's huge to have just a full off season because you just get the Get the full tour of duty, the summer workouts, just all the, just everything that they have planned for you throughout that year. You get to be a part of and just be with the team as well. That's another thing. Like when you're hurt, you're not with the team as much. Like just being with the team, just being able to stay with those guys and just build relationships and just the camaraderie, camaraderie with everybody as well. How's it been like with the new guys in the offensive line, like T.J. Ferguson and Richie? Uh, great. They've been great. You know, just the people we bring in is like, we bring in the right people all the time. Like from not even just with the offensive line, just from everybody on the team. Like when we bring in people, it's not just to bring in just because of stars or because of like your talent and stuff. Like we also bring in the right people, like the people that fits our program as well. Are there any? What are your thoughts about like some of the young guys, like Lucas, Andre? I guess how are those guys doing with their, uh, their development? I say those guys are coming along very well because you know they they work. Like, they love to work, and that's one thing I love about our young guys as well. Like they love to work and they love to learn. And they just want to. They want to. They're eager to get out on the field. So that's one of the best parts. Is just the hunger that they have, like the willing to play. When uh, when this coaching staff came in, can you explain like were there meetings with you guys like with you specifically to coach about having you go to the office? Like how did you get to know this coaching staff when there was that, that transition? Uh, just, Going around the building, you know, just introducing myself to everybody, going around the building, trying to talk to everybody, talk to everybody every day, and just, you know, just come in with a smile and just trying to be as positive as I can be every day. Do you have any personal goals for this upcoming season? Uh, personal goals? I don't too much really look into personal stuff. I, it's more team for me. It's, uh, I'm a big team guy, if anything. So if, as long as the team winning, I'm fine. Uh, uh, 
really don't like the everything comes with us winning. New quarterback this year with DJ. What have you seen from him this spring and summer, and how different is it than playing him at Clemson? Uh, just a, a big leader. DJ's a huge leader, huge vocal leader. He just try to uplift us and just keep us going, and he's just uh, just going as we go. You know, just with the with the with college football now, like. You, you have to figure out things to like just build a team community. So just DJ's been a great leader for us. And just, he's helpful and just trying to be be there for us and help us accomplish what we want to uh, accomplish this year. What has Coach Atkins meant to your career since he's been with you at Florida State? Uh, Coach Atkins has been a huge role to me just throughout my whole college, through my whole college career, just from teaching me life lessons and just teaching me ball and just helping me mature as a man. Because that's one big thing I'll say about this coaching staff and Coach Atkins. Like, they all help us mature as like, young men, like men in, in general. So that's the main thing. What's uh? What, does, he, does Coach Atkins have like, a certain phrase or anything that stood out to you that you're going to always kind of remember? Any, any specific pointers or anything like that? Uh, I say pretty much every day he comes with, with you something, with something new because it's like it's in life it's, just, it's so much stuff that you can learn throughout, throughout your life. So you just try to help to be, bring those experiences that he's had and just teach us new teachings every day. You guys have so much experience returning on the offensive line. I guess it, I imagine it has to be helpful. I guess how could that benefit you guys this season? Uh, you know, playing offensive line, just the experience that we have is just, it's great to have the experience on the old line because you need people that's really smart and just know the game out there and just people that have a lot of uh, game time experience really can see things out on the field and really help communicate as well because when we're on the field we have to talk and we have to talk a lot. So with people that have experience on the, on the field, so it's, it helps because like they see stuff, they can communicate, we can communicate together, we know it and all that stuff. How is Maurice as a, as a communicator? He's Obviously, in the heart of the offensive yeah. line. So, what are some things that he does particularly well in that regard? Uh, Maurice, is, Maurice keeps us straight. Like, just keeps us in task. Make, make sure that we are getting on the ball. Make sure we're just taking care of what's the task at hand right there and there. Before you guys got here, Coach Norvell was talking about you and Maurice and like. You were here since the beginning, before the beginning for this regime. Did you guys ever use or talk about like how far you've come or how much the program has uh, changed? All the time. We would talk about it all the time just because like just seeing where we were to where we're where we become, like where we're at, is just just being able to just go through that experience and go through that change as well and continue to help build on that is uh it's just it's heartwarming just because you know, this what it says is a huge like a prestige program just for us to be able to change it and make it back to where it's at. It's a huge thing. You're so positive and that's always kind of been in your thing. Um, was there ever a time where you're like, weren't sure if it was going to work out for, for you guys, given some of the, the ups and downs earlier on in your career? Uh, ups and downs come, so it's just, you just got to keep continuing to work. That's one thing I've learned throughout this process and throughout this coaching stuff and just throughout all this stuff. like. Uh, if you keep dwelling on the downs and dwelling on the bad stuff, it's going to just tear you down and make you just not want to do this no more. Like, this is a full-time job, so just stay in a positive mindset and just continue to work every day, knowing that it will get better eventually was it's just a mindset. Obviously, this is your last season at Florida State. What do you want your legacy to be, like, afterwards? What do you want people to say about you, your time here? Uh, I want people to say he was a great person, a great teammate, a just great leader, you know, just somebody that you can always come to if you need help or anything like that. You talked about the you can't let the bad times drag you down. You know, Farmer's talking about how, how pissed off he still is about last year. How can you use last year and that pain to not drag you guys down but fuel you for the upcoming season? I mean, we are last year was last year, so like we can only take what happened last year and just apply it to this year. But at, at the same time, we can't continue to look back. I, I can't continue to look back as a whole team. We can't continue to look back. So we just gotta keep moving forward and just keep working because every day we preach work, work, work. So no matter what, we're still gonna work. Is there a sense of wanting to prove people wrong though? Uh, I don't think we have to prove people wrong. We gotta prove 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 ourselves right. You mentioned going around smiling all the time when the new coaching staff came in and introducing yourself with the mindset of like being positive. Is that something you think of like every morning? Like, hey, I'm going to wake up to, to be positive? Or I guess how do you go about like generating that type of like, heartedness, feel good energy? I get to wake up every day, so that's 
that's the best thing, you know, just being able to wake up and just have another day of opportunity to get, just to better myself and better my life. Like, that's, that's, that's what keeps me positive. Because every day everybody doesn't get to have an opportunity to get up again. So. Oh, going through spring practice, you mentioned some of the things you saw from, from DJ. And I'm just curious, like, what do you think the offense is going to be good at this year? What are things you're going to say are strengths for us, things that we know we can do well going into to each week? Well, I feel like we'll, we'll have a pretty well-rounded offense. So I feel like we'll, we'll have a good, good all-around all offense. The, you mentioned a little, talked a little bit about the offensive line. Um, you know, it's, it's experience, but like the versatility, you can play multiple spots. Rob's worked at both tackle spots. To have guys who are interchangeable, how can that help with depth this season? How can that kind of benefit what you guys do uh, to get through the entire year where injuries are obviously a part of, part of football? Uh, that, that just helps with us, just being, like the experience really just with people, we have people on the, on the team that have a lot of experience, in-game experience, not just practice experience. So that just helps just to be able to know that if somebody goes down, like we don't have to worry about anybody to put in the game. Like we know we have people that have played in the games, been in big time moments, and been in big time games. So if any of that stuff occurs, we we can just plug in and play. What was the, the most interesting atmosphere, I guess, you've ever been in as a player. You've a big time moments. What's one that's still out? Campbell. Every time. Dope Campbell is nothing like that. Got here. Somebody talked about it. It's what the play is. Right.